Hello, and thank you for joining us. With all of this attention spent on trombones and the people that play them, sometimes we forget there are people who play other instruments. For example, many people don't know about the viola, a stringed instrument that resembles a slightly larger violin. For some reason, viola players, or violists as they are called, have developed an awkward reputation in the string family. Of course they are talented musicians, but what type of person does it really take to be a violist? Let's find out, shall we? First and foremost, violists have very short attention spans. They are subject to shenanigans, yum huckleray, tomfoolery, and uh, all the other types of foolery. Violists can be forgetful. They often leave small reminders for themselves so they can continue to function properly. Another odd phenomenon is the strange attraction between bass trombonists and violists. This can prove to be a good thing, or ultimately a very awkward thing. So now we have all learned about a new instrument, the viola and the people that play the viola. And despite their awkward ways, they are in fact an integral part of the string family. As long as they remember how to play their instruments. Should they start well? They can start well. Okay. <laughs> that we're not so sure about. Okay, 15. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>